or hello everyone madam eileen here i spent the day at the renaissance fair it was pirate day so i am all here ready to do some pirate videos for you and it's all pirate themed i will tell you what i'm making it's for you to guess This is a technique, one of the many, many balloon views that they have out there. Ah, I hear a car door. You might be seeing some of me family. Yes, they've arrived. Shh. Mommy's playing. starts with a squeeze and a pinch and a twist and then you pull it over to where you're draining it and you push that twist in and then you take this and you rotate it it goes around all by itself Aha. have you guessed what it is twist. Now we're going to make a whole bunch of bubbles. Try to get them the same size. These are pieces of eight. About roughly the same size. And connect the last one here. Got a whole bunch left. So what do I do? I snip the tip, stretch this section out, and put some air in it. Reverse inflate. 
we can get a few more pieces of eight out of this. I guess I'm going to end there. Tie a knot. I'm holding the chest close to me so it doesn't unravel. Then I take this grip and I wrap it around that page twist in here. And what else is in a pirate's chest? Oh, pearls. Yes, if you haven't guessed it yet, I am doing a treasure chest. Sliding this one in all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Wrap it around a pinch twist. It could be a forward, it could be a back, it doesn't matter. Reach in, do a little pinch twist. Would it be easier if I did the pinch twist first? Yes. But is it possible to do it after you've attached the balloon? Yes. Now, pearl necklaces are tiny, they're minuscule. So I'm doing teeny tiny bubbles just doesn't matter the size of the bone you can always squeeze it down and give it a pinch and twist twist it several times and you got a little tiny pearl and pearls can be different sizes so i'm just going to continue here make a whole bunch of little pearly pearls Lots of little bubbles. Lots of little bubbles. It's been a while since I had a video on Fresh Video. Been doing lots of reels. They're short, they're fun. See, lots of little pearls. Connect these here. Pinch and twist that around. And now I'm going to go behind all of these gold bubbles to this pinch twist here. Little spacer bubbles. Pinch, twist. Try to go around. Round the pinch twist in there. And now let's do a whole bunch of little pearls again. something I've been wanting to do for years. I bought my husband a new hat and he looks mighty fine in it too. <laughs> I think the best part of a tre any treasure chest is not the gold but the pearls. Especially exotic black pearls. Though I wonder, if pearls were in the ocean, would they dissolve or would they stay pearls in their treasure chest? Now I'm going to keep a hold of this treasure chest against me or else all of those beautiful little pearls are going to disappear. I give a little snap, snip on the air, tie a knot just so if I, my fingers fumble. I won't lose my whole strand. Okay, see, as long as I'm holding the tress in one hand and the pearls in the other, they don't untwist. Oh, here he comes. Guest appearance by Mr. Smith. All right, come on in. Oh, let's get behind me. Yes, that big blue case. So this is my Mr. Smith. Yes, I'm taken. Sorry, guys. Bye-bye. All right. Now that we have little pearls and a lot of the balloons, there's jewels. Wild berry peas. I'm gonna tuck this in here. Now there's not a lot of jewels. So we're just going to do loop up. Then we're gonna <laughs> loop up. I just attach it to that pinch twist there. And then I'm gonna go down through the bottom. And then I'm going to pull it around this pinch twist. 
just one time, really don't need a lot. And then I'm going to poke it up the other side. Or maybe up the center. Yes, up the center. Now here I'm going to do a pinch twist. And then I'm going to go give it a little squeeze. Stretch that air out and down. And then I'm going to go down and in. I want to stop, go around, one of the pinch twists on the bottom, and I think that's enough on the jazz part. You can keep adding colors with scraps, but now that I have my treasure chest almost done, now I'm going to artfully pull the bubbles into place. take forever. Maybe a short time. Now you want them to point down, but when they're pointing up like this, what you need is a few well-placed pinch twists. Pinch twists will change the direction of your pearls. Also, opening up the bubbles and pushing it in and then letting them close, that will also help pinch it and hold it.